Hi, in this video we're going to look at how you can use Schoology portfolios to collect examples of your work, whether you did it in Schoology or in another program. The first thing we need to do is navigate to the portfolio area. So we'll do this by clicking on your name and then selecting your profile. And here, under any image that you may or may not have, you have the option to click into portfolios. Our first step is to click where it says new portfolio and you can change the image. You can either simply change the color or you have the opportunity to upload an image that you'd like to have on your portfolio. Once I click update, I then can give my portfolio a title. I could also give it a description if I wanted to. Now I want to add some items. So I'm going to click where it says add portfolio items and you can see there's four types. The first one is an assignment submission. This is where I can find work that I've already done in Schoology. I can select the class, I can select the task, and I can add that submission. And it will pull that work from my Schoology course into my portfolio. The second way to do it is to insert a file. This is locating a piece of work that I have on my desktop that I would like to include into my portfolio. I can also include a link. So here I could add a link to a website that I had, for example. Finally, I could create a page. You can see on the page that I have the full editing capabilities that I have in other places on my Schoology. So if I wanted to select something from my Google Drive that I wanted to include into my portfolio to import and embed, I can type a response I could insert an image or a link and give the page a title as I navigate back to my portfolio you can see the different types of items that are in here I could go through and I can start changing those images but all of the work is here if you navigate back to your home page where all of your portfolios live, the next step is to click this button. When you do this, the anyone with the correct permissions in DPS will be able to view your portfolio by going into the same section of your profile that you went into to create it. And you can see that by clicking the three dots here, I have different ways that I can share my portfolio. I can export it to a zip file, which is going to take all those materials and they're going to download it to a desktop. This won't work well on your Chromebook because the file might be too big, but if you're working on a personal device and want to be able to use this um, forever, this is a good way. Sharing portfolio allows you to have a link to your portfolio that you could share externally. So if you are sharing this with um, an internship opportunity, for example, you could use this link and it's very easy to reset the link if you don't want it to be available after the first time you share it. Finally, you have the opportunity to delete your portfolio. So it's pretty easy to create, but it's definitely worth taking some time to tailor it and make it look nice because this is really showcasing your best work. Please ask your teacher if you have any questions and a happy portfolio creating.